Welcome to 2004 Podcast. Glad to see you. I'm Javon Gordon. I'm Bobby DeVore. Um, I, I'm not going to talk as loud as Javon. Why not? Because, actually, I, you know, I say that and you weren't very much. Yeah, because I'm not that me. close to the mic. Yeah. I'm sitting on a stool. Yeah. Like, like this is a, like a Joe fool. Button podcast. Is he sitting on a stool? Uh, people around him sit. He sits on a couch. But everyone else sits on a stool? There's like a white guy that sits on a stool, like uh, right next to him usually. Power move? No. No, I think it's like his friend or producer or whatever. Yeah, but why does he sit on the stool and not the couch? I don't know, because uh, Joe and his friend are already sitting on the couch. Uh. So he sits on the stool. You think they make him sit on the stool? Uh, because he's white? Yeah. Or does he have the best posture out of all of them? Don't know. Uh. Oh, because he's white? He's got the best posture? No, because he can sit white on the stool. White people have straight spines? Is that uh, what you're saying? No. Yeah. And we have curved spines? I, I mean, uh, both white people and we black have fucking, people have fucking Hot spine. Wheels spines? Uh, track <laughs> spines? <laughs> it's the fucking, uh, the like, cambered up uh, figure eight. Yeah, whatever you just said. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, no. All people, all spines are curved. Yeah, like curb your spine enthusiasm. <laughs> curb your central nervous system. That's my favorite show on television that just came back for its tenth season. It's not ten season. Yeah. Have you seen any episodes from it? I've seen uh, the first couple of moments of the first episode of the tenth season. Oh. It feels different. Yeah. Cause um the show's been on, on and off air uh since what nineteen ninety nine. Jesus Christ. Uh. He's 72 at this point, and, um... You was Bernie on this season? I don't think he made time for it. No. Yo, you think if he gets president, he'll be on Curb Your Enthusiasm? Maybe. Kind of like, kind of like Mike, Obama? Another dude who's already running, uh, appeared on, who's also running, uh, appeared on Curb. Bloomberg? Years ago, yeah. Oh. Their New York season. Yeah. Oh, there was a New York season? Was yeah. No... Is it in L.A.? What? Where's it set? Curb? Yeah. L.A. Okay, that's what I was asking. Yes. I just always... <clears throat> I think I just associ- like assumed because... The Seinfeld Association. Yeah, no. Um, the Seinfeld Association. I mean, Seinfeld even then was shot in L.A. <laughs> yeah. Wait, really? Yes. Did it have a period where it was shot in New York? No. It was always shot in L.A.? Yeah. Just about New York? Yeah. Oh, huh. It's weird that they can't flip that. What do you mean? Nobody ever shoots shit in New York and it's in like set in LA. Because the, the television industry for the the majority of it, yeah, is uh LA. What about New York? New York is the other place. Oh, okay. But if you're going to sit there's also plenty of shows that are set in New York that are filmed in New York. Broad City was filmed in New York. Yeah. Uh, sex in the City, New York. Obviously SNL, most famously SNL. I think they'd have to film SNL. Yeah. In New York. Because of Dirty Rockefeller. That's where they're based. Yeah. Dirty Rockefeller Center. But like, what about... Uh... Dirty Rock was shot in Jersey. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's interesting. Which is like, not that far. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> was it just like a uh, set that looked like New York for Dirty Rock? That looked like New York? Yeah. Those those areas they went, I think they probably went. No, I'm talking the the the. Yeah, it's never really place. outside. When they're not in, when they're inside. Yeah. That's <laughs> the Jersey set. All those scenes in New York. Probably outside or probably shot in New York. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because it was big enough to have it like for them to have. It was the, a network sick, huh? Yeah. Um. Also. The season 10 feels different because it feels like Larry is more aggressively a jerk on, like, immediately with everybody. <laughs> I feel like earlier seasons had, like, eventually Larry would get aggressive is with it people. With, is it with everybody or, like, characters on the show that have already been uh, established? What do you mean? With everybody, just on impact. Oh, really? he's, mean. <laughs> he's mean. Damn. In the first, <laughs> it's weird because in the, in the first couple of moments of the episode, he's walking down the street with Leon. Mm-hmm. You know, Leon, uh... Pork chops. What? 
Okay, so a long time ago, uh, I was watching Daddy Daycare. Yeah. And my dad used to talk about that dude and how fat he was. Who? What dude? Leon. That's not who Leon is. Who's Leon? That's Jeff. I'm talking about Jeff. Yes. Who's Leon? The black dude. Uh, played by JB Smooth. Oh, yeah, okay. Who's his roommate? Oh, weird. Uh,. He he doesn't even need him to be his roommate. Uh, it it's uh it's like the show's lore, really uh, okay. <laughs> explaining who Leon is. Why is why is he friends with Leon? Uh, cause he never left his house. <laughs> oh, cause Leon never left. Yeah. Oh. Um, who was Leon? All right. <clears throat> Seasons ago. Yes. Uh, Larry fucked something up, and he had to allow his wife to move a. Uh, family that was a victim of a a black family that was a victim of a hurricane Mm -hmm. Uh, i don't i don't think they explicitly said it was supposed to be katrina but the hurricane was supposed to be so a a hurricane like katrina yeah yeah yeah. and they moved this family into the house and um after larry's marriage imploded uh and then he cheated on um and then he started dating the mother of the black family Mm -hmm. and then it looks looks like he cheated on her it he wasn't cheating but it looked like that and she breaks up with him and moves her family out yeah the one person who doesn't move out is her brother who in the first place didn't even need to move because he already lived in la oh but once he heard that his family was living in kinda... like a mansion oh yeah <laughs> he just kind of <laughs> moved in <laughs> and even once he's the rest of the family moves out uh he's like yeah why why, why do you go he's like what do you mean? Like, eh. <laughs> and he never leaves, and that's it. Does he pay rent? Huh? Does he pay rent? I can't even remember. Uh, <laughs> he just shit. Larry doesn't even doesn't even care, <laughs> really. And um, he's just walking out street with Leon, and uh, talking, and they pass by a young millennial couple taking pictures with a selfie stick. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the the boy and the long, young millennial couple is Brandon Rodell. Oh, yeah, you told me about this. Yeah, and okay. he takes the selfie sticks and breaks it over his leg. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, that doesn't even feel like something Larry would do. Because it just feels like a, <laughs> meet- a jerk move. Yeah. It doesn't even... <laughs> is he, like, going it's... cartoon? It feels like, like it boomer? is. Like, how how Seinfeld got cartoony and, and exaggerated how the, the characters when? Uh, acted. When did that happen? It happened in the later seasons. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Can you give me an example from that? I know, just if you have watched the show oh, okay. and observed. I only got to, like, season seven, I think. How many seasons did the show have? Like, they 13. Oh, it did. Yeah, it did. Oh, it did. We've had this conversation before. Seinfeld so right. did not have 13 had seasons. 12. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. It had, no, it didn't. Did it have 10? <laughs> You're just trying to bring it down because <laughs> you don't know. Don't even try to pretend. I'm pretty sure it's 13, man. No, it's not. Tell me I'm wrong. You gonna tell me I'm wrong? Come on, bro. Go to gym class, stupid nigga. <laughs> it's unrelated. I just mixed up two two viral videos that make me laugh. All right, nine. I had nine. Ah, uh, so I was close. No, you weren't. <laughs> you overestimated by a mile. I think I thought that. Or I think I got kind of bored with it, and I skipped to the finale episode. <laughs> like, I remember Soup Nazi, and Soup Nazi was, like, earlier on than that, right? Speak up. That was, like, what, third or fourth season? Um, I can't remember. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I'm not a, I'm, I'm a fan of, of uh, Seinfeld, but... You know, I don't rewatch it all the time. Oh, okay. How many, I can't remember things. How many times would you say you have rewatched it? Oh, in order? I've yeah. never watched it. I've, I've, re-watched, I've watched it once in order. Oh, okay. Most of my life, it's just like a, episodes that have aired and reruns. Oh, uh, okay. Um. Huh. But, like, uh. I don't know. You think it's going to be, like, a sort of a boomer cartoon situation? Is he? Does Larry write for the show? The show's impro- improvised. Uh, okay. There's just a premise, and then it, they improvise around it. Uh, okay. He has an idea of how he wants the plots to go. Uh-huh. 
otherwise people are improvising based off the characterization that is previously established or just if it's just a character that is for the episode they just improvise around that hmm. Has, it's always been improv yes huh I didn't know that um, and then they just take the takes yeah okay yeah uh, and then he goes to the gym <laughs> And there's a character played by Lennon Parnum, mm-hmm. who's like pregnant. It's a pregnant lady at the gym. He starts having a conversation with her, and uh, he's he gets mad after having a slightly conti- confrontational conversation in the first place. He gets on the they get on the treadmills next to each other, and she's like jogging on the treadmill. And he's like, "You're jostling the fetus because because uh, she's jogging on the treadmill." Yeah, and she's pregnant. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She's like, no, this is fine. He's like, I can't watch this. And then he <laughs> that would probably fuck with me. And then he gets mad at the mad in the uh, locker room because some guy's talking his armpits a, a bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes to a coffee shop in Leon, Leon, and uh, he gets mad with this character that we that I can't remember what season this character appeared in previously, but this dude who who I remember from Becker, uh, Ted. Ted Mosby from How Much Am I uh-huh. Crossover Nuts. Can uh, uh, Ted Danson, uh, who's been a cast member on the show, uh, Curb, since the yeah. beginning, uh, usually appearing as a, a as a as a slightly like smug version of himself. Yeah, he just gets on Larry's nerves, and, and um, uh, what I found fascinating is that. Larry David's marriage on the show was never real <laughs> to the actress that played his his wife. What do you mean never real? They weren't actually married. Yeah, in real life. Oh, in real life, yeah. yeah. But uh, Ted Danson is married in real life to Mary Steinbergen, who is who plays his wife on the show as well. Ted's or Ted Danson. It, it's his wife. Yes. On the show. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She's married in real life to her. Yeah. Uh, and then, in like the last season, they they um, had them getting divorced. <laughs> I was Did, like, like, I just thought that was kind of weird. That was kind of weird. Because, you know, they're an actual still married couple pretending to be divorced on the show. Yeah, maybe just, like, you know, switch it up. Eh, for the show. Yeah. You know? Uh, wait, so, are you, did you just have trouble remembering Ted Danson's name? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I did a riff. Because <laughs> uh, I was going to say, like, who the fuck else from Becker? Um, did you watch Becker? Yes. Well, yeah, of course. But, like, how, what do you think of Becker? We ever talked about it Becker? Was like, it was like House Before House. It was. <laughs> Except it wasn't a medical procedural. It was It yeah. was just a pure sitcom about a doctor who was a dick to people. Yeah. It was that, hard, was, right? that was the first pure negativity show I, I remember watching. <laughs> yeah. Other than Seinfeld. The, the first show I watched and realized, oh yeah, the show where the main character is a jerk, and that's, and I immediately understood that the character was yeah. a jerk. Hmm. I don't remember much about that character. Now, a lot of my favorite shows are about jerk white characters. Yeah. I just did, Becker was like the first show I immediately realized that that was what the, uh, what the show was going for. It took me a long time to realize that the gang from Always Sunny were jerks. Really? Like, in that regard. Like, it took me a while to, like, really put it together that that's why mm. the show is funny. Yeah. There was a split second where I was like, these people are terrible. <laughs> Am I supposed to laugh with this? And then I was like, oh. Yeah. 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 I wish more people eventually came across that. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, but people are. They're like fucking cartoons. A lot of people are offended. Oh, thanks. Uh. Dude, I don't, I don't know. Um, what? Yo, when's the? If you work? make me talk about conovir- the coronavirus. <clears throat> I will murder you. The what? The coronavirus, whatever it's called. The chrono. Co- the chronos. The Coney virus. The Coney twenty twelve virus. <laughs> coronavirus. The Corona. Lime. You know, Corona's actually had a tweet nice. about that. Really? Yeah, they've had to be like, you once again, you do not get the coronavirus from drinking our beer and uh they do urge you to like they list some symptoms and they're like you know if you're concerned go get checked okay but, what uh, are the symptoms i don't know being handsome 
successful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look up this. Look, look it up. Oh, uh, what do I do with my phone? We're, uh, I don't know, yeah, I have a computer right in front of me. Yes, right in front of you. <laughs> uh, left and center. So, <clears throat> I assume it's like kind of like a flu of sorts. Yeah. Uh, Some porn star I follow, he keeps on reposting people uh, with the symptoms. <laughs> like, what kind of people? Uh, there's people passing out in China and shit. Oh. Uh, uh, fever, cough, shortness of breath. Uh, the CDC believes at this time that symptoms of 2019 in COV may appear in as few as two days or as long as 14 after exposure. Talk a little higher. Um, I'm doing pretty good, I think. Yeah. I'm a little closer. I'm trying. Um, my like, I need something to drink to be able to like do it. Uh, runny nose, headache, cough, sore throat, fever, a general feeling of being That's unwell. That's stomach diarrhea. That's not my Indigestion, mind. heartburn. Wait, how's it go? Um, Indigestion, heartburn, upset diarrhea. Stu- upset stomach diarrhea. Upset stomach diarrhea. Uh, I forget the rest. Yeah, I remember. I that was a good ad campaign. <laughs> Nobody talks about that. I think people talk about it. Really? It's, it's not an underrated ad campaign. <laughs> you think? Yeah, it's tough. Is it? Nobody talks about it because everyone knows it. You don't need to talk about it. You think it. it's just hasn't been long enough for it to get brought back up? No, it's been long enough. Oh, okay. But people don't need to talk about ad campaigns. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Underrated. Uh, That's the most underrated ad campaign. Yo, are you excited for the uh, Super Bowl ads? No. Yeah. I'm, I don't watch the Super Bowl yeah, ads I anymore. Care, man. I kind of like. Also, it's like not cool to think those are funny. No, because it's just you know they're just super expensive ads <clears throat> and just brands manipulate. Finish your sentence. <laughs> they're just <laughs> brands manipulating you into buying their shit. Yeah, that's is I mean, all that's it what is. Commercials dude. Are. Like, yeah. Now, the last ad I liked was uh, probably. Um, the one with the, it was like a, I think it was a Coke ad. Mm-hmm. They had like GTA, but they were nice to each other. Uh, and it was like, I'd like to teach the world to sing. You never seen any of those? No. Look up, ads. I, look up Coke. I like to teach the Do we the have world to watch? Okay, we'll watch the ad. It's the Coke what? I like to teach the world to sing Coke ad. Oh, shit. Uh,. I was just, I was on the wrong thing. Hold up. Yeah, you can't find it on Pornhub, buddy. <sighs> Jesus Christ, man. I gotta out me like this. This, this That's one? That's the original ad. That's the original one? Uh, look up GTA. Put GTA next to it. There's a remake. Which is probably it. This? Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah. Oh, shit. From, like, a long, long time ago. <coughs> yeah. I never really put that together. That it was GTA that they were mimicking? It's pretty obvious. Yeah. Did you play GTA around this time? Yeah. How'd you not figure it out? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't remember it all that well. Yeah. They're just cool with that. <laughs> I just, re- I'm sorry. In the, in the ad, he just like put a homeless man in some like a bunch of ladies' cars. Yeah. Huh. They're just cool with it. Apparently, dude. The rats are dancing. Thanks, white man. <laughs> well, at least it's not Kylie Jenner saving the world this yeah. time. Weird. Uh. Damn. Well, she just gave a. A, a coke to a cot. Yeah, she ended racism. Yes. Dude, that was the most fucking tone deaf shit. Um, yo, have you seen these like? That was the, the most. <laughs> the most tone deaf shit. What I say? That was the, fucking tone deaf shit. Oh really? Yeah, that's what I meant. Damn. You ever just skip full ass words? Yeah. In you your do thought. It, you do it a lot. Really? <laughs> yeah, I do. 
Um, so, uh, have you seen these fucking Facebook ads? What? Like, with Chris Rock? No. Really? No. Seriously. Also, last word on the coronavirus, or coronavirus? Yeah, there we go. I'm the not corona? <laughs> the Thanos car yeah. virus? I'm not getting it. I'm not getting hey, the coronavirus. Hey, knock on wood. There's no way I'm going to get it. I'm invincible, and I will never die. Okay. Uh, sorry for China, but I'm different. It's my final word. <laughs> um... Is this what you're talking about? It says three days ago, so this is no, most likely what you're talking it's about. it's not. There's, like, an ad campaign. There's a bunch of teasers for it. I think that is what they're doing, possibly. They're ads for this... They're teasers for the Super Bowl commercial. Yeah. That's definitely what they're... You're looking at it right now, dude. Dude, I don't think those are it, man. Seriously. Oh, my God. In first ever Super Bowl ad, Facebook is ready to rock with Chris Rock. Jesus Christ! You know what I? You know what I'm sort of sort of excited for? What? The new season of uh, Fargo with Chris oh, Rock. Yeah. Wait, Chris Rock some Fargo? The new season of Fargo. He will be in. Yes. Oh no shit! Have you ever seen Fargo? The movie, yes, but not the series. The show is um is an anthology series. Yeah. It's set around the same area. Fargo. Yeah. No. It's not in Fargo? It's set sometimes around Fargo. But it's set in North Dakota? No. That's where where Fargo Fargo is. That's where Fargo is from, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember. North or South Dakota. Or Minnesota. I think it's Minnesota. You think it's Minnesota? It could go like Minnesota. Minnesota. One of the best songs. Yeah, of our generation. Yo, that was... One of the best songs of the tens, really. Yeah, for real. I was about to say, that wasn't on the fucking list, man. Bro, Drum Sprite Campaign should have been on that shit. That was a banger. <laughs> shit, that shit still is a banger, dude. You be in the fucking uh, the theater around Christmas time. It's fucking... Uh, Want a Sprite Cranberry? <laughs> you do that so fucking well. One spray cranberry? Is that solid? Okay. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? Yeah. Alright. Do I? Okay. Minnesota, North Dakota. Is it Minnesota? Mm, is it? Dog. Fargo. Isn't Fargo? Fargo's a real place. Yes. In one of these places. Yes. North Dakota. See? Yeah, that's right. Each season is set uh, further and further away from North Dakota. It seems that way. Really? Also, each season is like overflowing the reference to other Coen Brothers movies. Oh, of course. The next season seems to be like they decided to dedicate it to uh, Buster Scruggs? No. Really? Miller's Crossing. Oh, okay. Because it's set in like the 1930s. Well, it's gangsters. It's huh. like Moose Crossing. And uh, Chris Rock leads the the black gang. Yeah. Next season. Which, a lot. There's like people in the YouTube comments, and I watch a trailer on YouTube. That's a little weird. It's try, I'm just going to have to deal with Chris Rock. It's supposed to be an intimidating presence, though. Yeah, he's really not. He's not. He's a scrawny dude. Yeah. He's always been skinny. That's always been, like, yeah. one of his things. But he didn't get buff like Chappelle. No. Never got buff. <clears throat> you need to watch Fargo, though. Really? It's a solid series. All the seasons have been great. So, I'm assuming the plot jumps around season to season, if it's yes. an anthology. Yes. What's, uh... uh... Well, the second season and the first season are connected. Oh, okay. The second season is, uh... uh filling you in on a story that's kind of alluded to in the first season uh-huh. uh, about um, the father of the main character of the first season I don't... who was a cop <clears throat> in, the sec- in the second season he's a, he runs a diner but he's a cop in the second it, I mean but he used to be a cop and it's like goes back in time to the 70s when he was a cop uh, okay so what uh, 
Does it have like loose connections to the movie? Sometimes. Okay. Like how loose? It's just going for the same tone of a Coen's brother of a Coen Brothers movie of oh, okay. Fargo, and being set in the same area. Did they do like Raising Arizona? What do you mean? Like uh, like references? Yes, there's references to all the Coen Brothers <clears throat> movies all the time. Yeah, but like like. Give me an example. There's a shot uh, of the back of the main character of the third season on a, sitting on a beach in L.A. Mm-hmm. That's a shot. That's a reference to a shot of a of a uh, anonymous lady in a bikini. Uh, that's like central, like a piece of symbolism central to the Coen Brothers '90s movie uh, Barton Fink. Oh, okay. What about? Uh... Can you give me an example of Raising Arizona? I can't... Uh, okay. I can't remember every specific reference to Raising Arizona. I suggest you watch the show, man. Okay. Get after me for not remembering shit. Can't remember... Dude, I'm, I don't new watch details. the show trying to remember every time they reference Raising Arizona. Uh, not even my favorite Coen Brothers movie. I like it, but I don't like it as much as almost anybody else. Yeah. Um... Big Lebowski. You no, know, we've talked about this. Bart, it's a uh, Barton Fink. Yes. Then Big Lebowski. That came after it. Is that what you're saying? No, that you like. Your favorites of the Coens. Have they? Have the Coens announced anything new? And then like they just. I feel like they just released Buster Scruggs, so we'll see. Maybe in a couple years. I don't know. Oh, yeah. They do space their shit out. Yeah. More so. Well, because they write everything. Yeah, they write and direct everything. Yeah, they don't just direct, so. They have done that in the past. Really? Not, but like long ago in the past, just oh. direct. They've also written things for other people. They wrote like a, a straight up political thriller that Steven Spielberg uh, directed. Not that long ago. What? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember some movie, set, set, some Cold War political thriller with uh, Tom Hanks in the lead. Oh. Interstellar? What? <laughs> yeah. The Cold War. Going to space. Man, that was a rough one. <laughs> it's cold in space, man. I know. But I can't what wait. I'm going to throw you into space when no one can hear you scream for telling that fucking joke, man. You're gonna throw me into space? Yeah. <laughs> I got Superman powers. You got super Man, you got Superman powers and you're not gonna like solve world hunger by You should do it. Being strong. I'm gonna write that comic strip where that's all he does. He doesn't fight any villains, doesn't do any cool superhero shit, he just like solves the world. <laughs> I'm gonna write that comic book. What's it? how's he And I'm gonna force uh D C to publish it. How how's he solve world hunger? Is he like in the lab? Creating like a... He was working in the lab late run night and he solved world hunger. That's the end of the song. <laughs> you get nothing. Yo, that reminds me of that uh, Mortal Oral uh, when they did the Monster Mash. But it was like... <laughs> yeah. The, what was it? The homosexual hop? Sexual bash? No. <laughs> uh, I think it was uh, the homosexual hop. Uh, I bet the gay bash for Monster Mash. I bet that was like on the list. Of jokes, yeah, for that, yeah. for that fucking thing. <coughs> um. Oh, in case you missed it, we did, and we're going to continue doing a uh, commentary on moral oral. Speak up a little bit. Moral or literally speak up. You see up moral moral oral. It's something that we've done commentary on. Yeah. So I'm referencing. Hopefully by the time this is uploaded, it'll be on YouTube. Um, we did the first season, and uh, we did it a little differently. And uh, y'all should check it out. It's a uh, pretty fun. Also, you should watch more Laurel. I Javon swayed me with it. Um, I was. I remember there being when I watched it as a kid. I remember there being like a bit more story, and it gets really dark. But I didn't realize how interesting it was. Or if I did, 
have some sort of interest i never paid attention to it closely because yeah. king of the hill was on also i didn't stay up that late yeah i did it was on later than i stayed up normally i've always been an insomniac yeah so i definitely saw moral i pretty much i would go to sleep after was it I've was, ne- it's never been really completely set in stone my actual sleep schedule <laughs> there's a time i should have been asleep yeah never <laughs> um you should also talk like speak up a little bit right. too uh also maybe maybe don't sit on a stool so elevated above the table this is a power move though. <laughs> okay so i insist upon it okay tell that to your back tomorrow morning am i right you can't talk to my back stupid <laughs> oh because you can't see it say so, yeah, i talk to my back i can't talk to it my back in the first place. You can't talk to your back. Silly. Can your back talk back? Yakety yak. Shut the fuck up, back. Um. You know, have we ever talked about Yakety Yak the series? What? You ever watch that shit? No. On Nicktoons Network? Nope. Really? Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. You don't even know its existence? Dude, what the fuck? How do you not know Yakety Yak? Was it about a yak? It was straight up about a yak. He hung out with a fucking pineapple. Here. Uh, how do you spell yak? Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, I remember this now. Yeah, I don't remember much of it. I just remember these characters' look. Yeah. Here, put your headphones in. <clears throat> I suggest you take your phone out so they can hear it too. Honestly. Uh, we do this too often. Yeah, but it sounds like shit. That's fine. Is it? Is it, Jamal? Yeah. Oh, damn. The hu- Is that the entire series? Damn. It might be the entire series. <laughs> I remember it got canceled. Looks like they put the entire series on uh, YouTube. Yeah. I really just wanted the intro. And uh, Nicktoons doesn't give a shit about it being there. Yeah, Nicktoons doesn't give it's a shit. It's also one in 2002 and 2003. So oh, you've like, already looked it up? Okay. And it was ago. straight on Nicktoons Network, right? It was uh, never on. Yeah. No, it aired on Nickelodeon. Oh, uh, and Nick. What? When did this air? Where did this air? Where? Tennessee. Oh, okay. In 2004, was added to the Nicktoons network. Oh, okay. In America, it aired on Nicktoons. <clears throat> so the show was Australian and Canadian, so it aired uh, on Teletoon in Canada and Nickelodeon in Australia. Weird. Hold on just a second. I'm trying to get it to come up on my phone. How's it spelled with a T? You're looking at it right now. Yeah, no. Ah, I don't have the internet connection. Do 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 do. Wait, so one of the things is that it does use like the coaster Turn song. It all the way up. No, not all the way. It's It'll fun. clip, dude. It'll clip. See what I'm saying? And it's just like a cartoon, and this is just the intro. Yeah, okay. But, uh. Was it funny? What do you remember about it? Ah, uh, dude, it wasn't that funny, to be honest with you. It was a little obvious. Um, hold on. Let's see here. Let me try to pull up something. Um, was it like what was it trying to rip off Spongebob or uh, Ren and Stimpy which one is your choice I would say a hybrid I feel like you know I feel like it probably was a Spongebob like one of those because it was right after Spongebob's popularity was recognized yeah Also, he has, like, a skinny body underneath 
that yeah. big ass yak. The yak body. Thing. Yeah. Which is an obvious joke that's been done before. Yeah. But no, like he literally it comes up a lot. Uh, it's like a character thing. Um, so he's anorexic <laughs> and he wears, wears a giant coat here. I don't actually remember much about the plot here. This is a an actual episode we're playing called Nature Calls. I mean, I don't want to watch it. I'm not gonna watch the. I don't. You should at least see like a scene. I feel All like right. it's one of those. I feel like it's one of those where it can kind of just uh, be summed up really quick in like watching one scene from it. Well, if it ever loads, we'll see. Yeah. If you didn't have such a like difficult to enter wi-fi password right now i would be on your wi-fi don't blame me i ain't got nothing to do with it you can change it i need one part of this bullshit what yak and yak no i need one cable oh shit they want the cocaine they want the yak the yak Dude, uh... Give him a couple of Cokes circa 1904, and they'll be happy. What was that, 1880? 18, 1884? Whenever they still had uh, cocaine in the Coke recipe. Did that exist in the 1800s? Like, late 1800s? Yes. It did? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was just associated with, like, 1900s. Uh, just... You know, in China, they actually uh, put pee-pee in the Coke. Yeah. Also, they put PP in coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you can't have a daughter. Or they'll murder it. Yeah. Oh, he said women are it. <laughs> I think he's like a stand up, too. He's like a, no, the yak. yak. I think he's like a stand up as a kid. This is, I think, his bug manager. There is a lore to it. I just don't remember it. The lore. This early, um, shitty, uh, flash animation. No, <clears throat> it's mid. This, it, it, 2002, 2003 sounds pretty early to me. You know they were doing flash in like the mid 90s, right? For TV shows? Yeah. Name the show. Dr. Katz. Find the shows. Find the shows. Dr. Katz. Don't just say Doc. that. Find the shows. <laughs> Here. You think there's like a wiki list of like Flash animated shows? We'll see. According to Wikipedia. Here. Uh, hold on. List of Flash animated. Here we go. These are TV series. Pre-1990. Wait. Peep in the Big Wide World used Flash. Uh, Jowson Dinky Dink. <laughs> that's fake. That's gotta be fake, right? No, that's real. <clears throat> Tennessee Tuxedo. Those might have been shows that, like, later... Uh, Space Goes Coast to Coast, 94. Cartoon Planet, 95. Blue's Clues in 96. Arthur in 96. Kablam, 96. Whirl Girl, no. 97. Caillou in 97. Go up, the offer. I want to see when offer switched Flash. Use Tunes around Season 5, then switched... Um, to flash around season six. Yeah, 16. that's why Offer looks weird and gross now. <laughs> okay, you're have right. Have you seen Flash? I Offer? have, I yeah. have. Um, what the fuck? I, I don't know how kids would that deal with that. Well, that switch. If they saw the, if they saw it before, and then they see it now. Yeah. I would. I my brain would be fucked up. <laughs> uh, yeah, me too. Weekend pussy hunt. Was that Rin and Stimpy related? Uh, yep. Really? John. That's John. Really? No shit. Gary the Rat? Yeah. 
I, dude, I loosely remember Queer Duck. What the fuck is Queer Duck? Uh, it was created by some former Simpsons writers. It was a, it was a flash. It was. A, I think it was on a website. Yeah, Icebox.com. Yeah. Was it homophobic? Uh, it was actually. Um, it, there was a lot of jokes about gay shit, but it. it I think it was uh, like liberal, well-meaning. <laughs> oh, okay. That's kind of cool. But the humor rose from the duck being gay <laughs> a lot. Uh, Aqua Teen. And then, like, after the 2000s, or after 2000, yeah. But, uh... I consider it the early era of Flash. Dude, I... Maybe the perfected era era of Flash, but, like... I still hate when shows are animated in Flash, for the most part. Now, or at all? In general. Why? Because it's ugly to me. Okay. That simple. (laughs) I think I just have, like, a soft spot for Flash... Because nah. of Newgrounds. Yeah. For me. I was never a new Newgrounds kid. Oh. I got in Newgrounds pretty late, though. Oh! A cheer might be nice, mascot! Yeah. That's it. Alright, I'm not this. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Really? Yeah, it was bad. I... It was on before a show I liked on Nicktoons Network. What? For a while, I can't remember. Best of Fiends. Best of Fiends. Yeah, you ever seen that? I know the title. Look it up. I don't remember it. I kind of remember its existence, but I don't know. Wait, Best of Fiends? You said? Yes. Um. Could be wrong. It's not the title. God damn it. Is it not the title? That's not the. That's not what I'm looking for. Um, so if something involved fiends and friends, I can't remember what it was. Nicktoon Network. Use full words. Dude, oh, man. I'm trying. It's weird typing like this. Making Fiends. That was a show. Okay, I remember that. I didn't watch it. I think I watched... I think I watched maybe like an episode on yeah. YouTube at one point. Um, didn't... The woman who created this, like, kind of got fucked over, right? I can't remember. Um, Click on the Wikipedia. Also, this is the same... Is this... I remember liking this, though. Really? Yeah, the Neptunes fucked over. Yeah. All right, that's a reference. Uh, Khalees came out and said that uh, she didn't make money off her first two albums because the Neptunes fucked her over. Oh, shit. Oh, you said the Neptunes, yeah. not the Nicktoons? Okay. I didn't know if that was a slip or not. Click, click on, if you want to, you said some story about the, the creator getting fucked over. Oh. Uh, where does it say it? The creator right there. Just click on it. Click on her name. This? Yeah. I don't see anything. Yeah, it's a... She had a web series, and then it got bought out. Oh, what it is, is um, they own the rights to it. She signed away the rights. To Nicktoons? Yeah. Uh. So now she doesn't have it as her own IP, and she can't continue it. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, because it had a lot of fans. Yeah. Um, especially it being, I enjoyed it. Yeah, especially it being like a you know woman, like main character, like a girl main character and shit, yeah. and it being different. Um, did you ever watch uh, Amy Poehler's Mighty B? Yeah, I enjoyed that as well. I look kind of liked it. I like the art style and yeah. San Francisco, or what was supposed to be San Francisco. Yeah, the actual um, city of San Francisco fucking sucks, and it sucked my day. But. Good Why? Why does San Francisco suck? Huh? Why does San Francisco suck? Oh, it's apparently super expensive to live in. Like, impossible. Yeah. Why well, you think there's a movie that came out last year called The Last Black Man in San Francisco? Uh, uh-huh. It's impossible to live there. Unless you're wealthy. Yeah. Well, I mean... it tends to be super liberal. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Dude, uh... Was... Was Mighty B... What was it called? Huh? Was it Mighty B? Yeah, it was called Mighty B. Okay. 
Uh, she was pretty much doing a voice I heard her do on like, uh, like characters on SNL. Yeah. Like a little sister character she did. Yeah, I remember that. Was it based off of her life? I don't know. Um, yeah, Amy Poehler created it, uh, along with Cynthia True and Eric Weiss. Uh, oh, it was improv -y. What do you mean? She did improv? I think so. Actually, I think it was just releasing her improv credit. What? <laughs> it was saying that she did. She, uh, did she improv, is what you mean? Uh, on occasion. She is loosely based on Cassie McMadison, who Polar played in the improv comedy troops. UCB in Second City. Okay. Uh... Boop -a doop -a doo. Characters: Bessie Higginbottom, ambitious and optimistic. Nine, uh, nine year old. Mom, I remember her mom. Her mom? Uh, mo yeah. Uh, is it? Hillary Hill Higginbottom is what I imagine. Megan Cavanaugh? No, just no the. the uh, her hippie mother. Yes. Her Characters. Bessie, Happy, and Ben were her kids' names. She owns and operates a coffee shop. Um, bowled over by Bessie just as much as everyone else, but tends to handle her role as a parent in a free-spirited way. Good karma. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I always, like, I felt similarities between her character in Mighty B and Leslie. Yeah. Leslie Nope. Constantly positive. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, she's good at roles that like that. Yo, did you overly enthusiastic characters? Did you ever watch uh, Rob Dyrdek's fucking series? Nope. I watched it a little bit. Just because I had no involved. interest in skating. So. Yeah, that's why. Um, dude. Um, yeah. Eh. Mm hmm. What? What? You were thinking about something, or you just ran out of things to talk about? I was reminiscing for a but second. Don't reminisce during the middle of a podcast. <laughs> reminisce and talk about reminiscing. Don't just uh, reminisce. Because uh, we're talking about American television animation. I want to talk about something that I hear a lot on Twitter. Well, not on Twitter. Probably more of a bigger argument on Tumblr, which is the... Uh, Oh. The Cal Ops, the Cal Art School. Wait, wait. Do we ever talk about the women's body shapes? Women character body shapes? Yeah, I can't find a tweet. Oh, uh, okay. Diver well, look up diverse cartoon body type. I don't know. On don't know Twitter? What, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how it looks up. Uh, diverse body types in this cartoon. This is 2017 and 2018, so no, neither of these are what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I like I'm gonna find it. Maybe it was deleted. I don't uh -huh. know. But what but were you talking about? The Cal Art School, which is the thing that people talk about. Uh, a lot of the ch the cartoons that came after Adventure Time. Yeah. I mean, before it, uh, a lot of people in American animation went to Cal Arts. Yeah, the it's Cal Arts. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like a pinnacle. It's an art school. Yeah. I mean, uh, the creators of, I mean, Seth MacFarlane went there. Yeah. Uh, the guy who created um, Johnny Bravo went there. People go to CalArts. <laughs> yeah, it's CalArts. I mean, CalArts... And they started associating yo, CalArts with having a specific style of art. Well, uh, I was also going to say Pixar. Like, Disney Pixar, they have a reference to a CalArts room. Yeah. Um, like, I don't remember the number, but... Yeah, they reference it in a lot of the movies. Yeah. But continue, I'm sorry. Like that and Pizza Planet and shit. Yeah. And, um... But I start saying that that they there's a specific art style associated with Cal Arts. Mm -hmm. uh, I think having all this earwax in my ear is fucking in my memory. <laughs> what earwax? Not currently. <laughs> but sometimes. 
but I can't think right now. Or maybe it's, it's just your your brain waves are fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> Is it because you don't have enough earwax to keep your thoughts in? Yeah. So they're just you're losing them. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I remember. Dude, I was a. Uh, your brain, your brain waves are so strong. They're killing my smart brain waves. Dude, I was fucking. I was. I had to take a shower once, and I already had Javon with me. Um, I had to run to my house, and I was using an ear or a Q-tip, and you took one, dog. It was like that scene from Shrek. Shut the fuck up. When you fucking took that out, man. It was like it. I never felt so disgusted and satisfied at the same time, like, because I'm sure that felt great. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I overuse Q-tips, and I've been trying to like not. So like, if I go a couple days and I have a little something, it's nice. A little something, something. Yeah, when a little, a little something, something, something comes out my ear. A little something, something for daddy. Yep. A little Q-tip for daddy. A little Q-tip for five. I like the I like the fuck Q-tip. You can come on his bald head. Wax it. All right, figure it. We'll wax his forehead. Honestly. Uh, I didn't find what I said funny, and then you ruined it. Oh. You just tried to make it vulgar, and, it, and it's not funny. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> All right, but continue about CalArts. Uh, I, think this, I think this really started accusing the CalArts of having a specific style that's ruining American animation happened after, after Adventure Time came out. Yeah. And after Steven Universe came out. And the sort of rounded, like, uh, the, the shape of Steven... Yeah. Uh, they started associating that with CalArts, and I think they started really blaming shit on that after the um, Thunder Supercats. What was that show from the eighties called? Thundercats. Thundercats revival. Yeah. Look it up. Oh. Ah uh, no, I don't remember it looking a certain way, so I don't remember it at all. Not that one. Not that one. The latest one. Look up. Yeah. Wait, so we got another reboot? Ooh. Yeah, that's how he looks. Thundercats Roar yeah. XD. Which is like the um uh the uh Teen Titans Go version of Thundercats. It's a it looks uh, like. what's it called? Kim what? not Kimchi. We talked about it uh what is it? Chibi. Yeah. Chibi. It is kinda chibi. Uh I wouldn't I don't know. There are a handful of I'm not saying that that's the art style. That's that's just what people started saying. Ah, yeah, I don't know if that's a specific art style. Yeah, I wouldn't blame you, it on CalArts. Yeah, I wouldn't blame it on CalArts. I would blame it on... Uh, people being unoriginal because they saw Steven Universe. I would blame it on that. Yeah, I would blame it on those kids in high school that wore like all the grr shit. I would blame it on yeah. them yeah. becoming animators. Yeah. Is what that is. I blame it on Tumblers who uh, never really grew out of it. Yeah. Or like... You think those like anime kids, those manga, those kids that always drew manga? I wouldn't blame it on them. Okay. I would blame it on this one specific person I went to high school with. This one specific weeb who I, st- I yeah. still hate. Uh, yeah. Huh. That is kind of gross. Is it bad? Have you seen the, um, uh, what's that character from? That spin off of a fucking Masters of the Universe. What's this? look at Masters of the U- Masters of the Universe? Yeah, He Man. He Man spin off. What's the female He Man counterpart? She Ra. Look at yeah, She Ra. Is that it? How do you spell it? It's a uh, she and then separate the Ra. Ah. Uh. This is a show they also accuse of being part of it. I would say it looks more anime inspired than anything. A little bit, a little bit with uh, Steven Universe, but not really. Uh, it's a 2018 reboot. It's taking a second to load over here. Oh yeah, no, that looks. It looks a lot like certain aspects of Steven Universe. Yeah. I would say the backgrounds kind of remind me of Steven Universe. But that's about it. It kind of reminds me... So this show does have diverse female body types, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It kind of reminds me of... No, I see the Steven Universe in, like, the, uh... 
I don't know, there's like a two... Uh, struggle for the words for it. I kind of see it, though. Like, in their facial expressions, I see it. Um, but, yeah, no, it kind of looks like a modern anime. I would say. Not really. It looks a, it looks a bit like one. It kind of looks... Is that William Hayes? Oh, from a... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, there's some story about a... This is unrelated to what I was, we were just talking yeah. about. But there's a, some story about a, a Biden staffer for Bi Joe Biden's campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, she gave some dude a, a, a drunken um, a handy on a plane. <laughs> yeah. And people are like... Uh, I think it's a sort of funny story. I don't, I don't think this really matters either way. Yeah. I don't think this really reflects badly on Biden. No, it doesn't. Biden touching people and getting mad whenever he's challenged reflects more badly on uh, yeah. on Biden than like some female, some drunken staffer giving a dude a handy. Yeah, shit happens. I mean, we she looks stupid. Yeah. But this Who, doesn't really yeah. reflect on Biden. I mean, did she get caught? Yeah, that's why oh. it's around. <laughs> like, how bad did she get caught? Like, by huh? the airline? No, just some person tweeted about it. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. But what about it? I don't know. It's just on Twitter and people are like, the people are, I don't know, feel some way about it. I have literally no you know, idea. I feel nothing about this. Don't ruin that lady's career over this. We all do stupid shit. What I'm more curious about is how good was the hand job? I don't care either way. Yeah, yeah. I won't get out of bed for a hand job. I'm not showering for a hand job. <laughs> oh yeah, let me talk about the lady who um who tested a date uh by tweeting Let me try to find a tweet. Fuck I like too much shit on the site, I'll never find it again. Yeah. Can you not like bookmark or like list shit i can you can Sometimes you just don't ever forget i thought you playlisted everything oh here it is um all right this lady said ladies you can truly dodge a bullet with men by inquiring to reschedule a, a first date day of and seeing how they respond and this is a test it's not something that actually happened in her life but this is her testing the date well no this your response did happen in real life the, what she's about to tweet didn't happen in real life. What she tweeted to him as a test didn't happen in real life. She did text this to him in real life. But what happened in, was it she, ha she said happened to him in the text didn't happen in real life is what I meant. Oh, uh, okay. But I yeah. think people in general will get things more, will get what I mean. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to say what I'm about to say because it's going to sound really mean but not everybody is as easily confused as you <laughs> alright she said hey I'm so sorry to even ask this but how do you feel about a weekend day instead of right now we just got approval to launch a product and it's happening very quickly and he responded are you joking I'm showered ready to go and had planned my day around this I understand work comes first but to pull out this late is pretty disrespectful if you're unable to respect me or my time then I'm over it be well yeah. Which is pretty also, simple. Also, he used a black uh, emoji. Like, oh. peace emoji. Yeah. So it makes me think, not only she dis <laughs> she disrespected a black man's time. Damn. Uh. That's why you don't date these white women, man. <laughs> That's why you don't date these white women. But, so, it was a... She didn't really have something come up, is nah. the test. Yeah. She has to see how he responds. Yeah. Which is fucked up. It's not even the morning of, it's like the... A few hours yeah. before the day like, he she just showered. showered. Yeah. And is ready to go. So what what about what else about that? Just mean. Yeah. I mean and she did it to get like feminist points on this on Twitter. Yeah, which is fucking which, white women do this shit all the time. <laughs> it's a fucked up to test your partner ever. 
I think. I think that's just kind of... It's fucked up. It's manipulative. Yeah. Um, just talk. Be honest. I mean, she's just doing this... For the internet. Yeah, for the internet. For clout. Yeah. They do anything for clout. As, Dude, uh, uh, as the con- as constant cheater and homophobe from the Migos <laughs> Offset said, <clears throat> was it Offset? You're asking the wrong person, dude. He's uh, what is her name? It's either here? Offset, Takeoff, or Quavo. It's Offset. It's Offset. Yeah. It's offset. He's the one that was in jail. Uh, that, wrong person, man. Yeah. Who? 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 Hey, Black Flag, dude. Uh, which one? <laughs> from which one? Rap group. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. I only listen to Roland's era Black Flag. Because I'm an asshole. Also, Mike Vallely is tight. Just as a pro skateboarder. That is now the lead singer of Black Flag. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's... I just, like, I don't know. The whole, like, test thing is so fucked up, like... I just want to make a. I just say this: white women, if they've not been freaking out on some lip shit on on Twitter for the past couple of weeks, have been just just amazing. They've been having just a, a what quite a run. What else have white women been doing this week? Well, from a once again cute trying to say Bernie has Russian connections or some shit. Yeah. All the typical uh, Bernie is sex Bernie bro sexist shit. They've been making up a lot. Did they find the fucking, uh, like, clip where he said a woman couldn't be president? Because it doesn't exist. They didn't find the clip. Yeah. There's no clip. There's no sound bite. There's no nothing. I just, I don't know, man. Why do people just not want Bernie? Like, is it just because Bernie has these fucking ideas and... He scares them. Too radical? Yeah, he scares them. And, uh, also, you know, the Democratic Party loves their money. Yeah. Bernie's promising actual change. That scares them. So Bernie is top in the polls, right? Yeah. That's great. It's like it looks very real right now. So does he have to win the nomination though? Yes. So that means vote in the primaries, right? Yes. Which is in November. Yes. Wait. November's the election. Yeah. When is the primaries? When are the primaries? When, yeah, dude, when are the primaries? Holy shit, we gotta know this. Democratic primaries, look it up, we're flirting with the <laughs> Right, right in your ears. Uh, presidential election primaries, 2020. Uh, buh, buh, buh. So the Iowa caucus is in, is on February 3rd. New Hampshire, the 11th of February, 22nd. Nevada, for the Democratic caucus. The 22nd in Nevada, February 29th. Oh, yeah, it's a leap year. I think it's specifically for these states. When is, where's ours? Um, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Guam. May 5th. Indiana primary is May 5th. Wait, why'd you even say Guam? Guam's right here. Guam Democratic. Uh, Caucus. Okay. Yeah. Guam's a U.S. territory. All right. I assumed that once I read it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that until I read it. I was like, yeah, okay. Huh. And then May 19th for Kentucky. Okay. All right. Clear your schedules. Hmm? Get out and vote, y'all. I got a while. Yeah. I got a while. We have shit four months. Yep. Three months. Three months. It's the 31st. Yep. Of February when we're recording this. White women, just, just please do better. Oh, did you not? Ah, that one slipped. Okay. Just please, for the love of all this, holy, be yeah. less obnoxious in the coming weeks. Yeah. Or at least don't put it on Twitter so Javon doesn't have to see it and complain about it. Nah. <laughs> I love complaining, so I'll probably get He does. He does love to complain. As do I. I'm pressing a button. I'm pressing the white woman extinction button pretty soon, Kato. Fixed. You better shape up. Cause I need a man. Cause I need a woman. Yeah. And I will only date white women. 
Wait, you will only beat white women? I said date, nigga. Uh, okay. Listen! <laughs> Don't... Okay. I'm, I'm being half serious right now. <laughs> So I don't have to repeat myself. <laughs> Listen <laughs> to what I'm saying. <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> it sounded like no, all I why, was no, no. But I feel like how do you mishear everything I say? <laughs> Dog, I mishear most things most people say. <laughs> I have hearing damage. All right. I have hemorrhoids. <laughs> Whoa. That's the noise in it's the background. Yeah, it is a great vine. Yeah. R.I.P. Vine. Uh, it's we've been going for an hour. You want to end it? I mean, we can. I mean, I'm, I may have some other topics. What else you got? Uh, let me see. Don't vote for um. For love, God, don't vote for Biden. Yeah, for real. I feel like our viewers are smart enough to know that. Yeah. Um. Check out our Moral Oral thing. I'm really excited about that. I think Moral Oral, um, we did the first season. I think the second season is going to be a lot more interesting. Um, what do you think? We should. You think we should do like the first five episodes? What? Like do it in like fives. It has a long season. It's, it's like 20 long. episodes. Yeah. So it would just be like four videos. Yeah. Spend a little more time on them, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, oh, yes, there's also, uh, the Hubble Johnson story. Oh, oh, I forgot all about that, Jesus Christ, man. A lady on Twitter accused Hubble Johnson of, uh, said that her friend got herpes from Hubble Johnson because he took the condom off during sex. Which, don't do that, that's rape. Yeah. It's disgusting. Unless you're told to. Yeah. And then he says, uh, and then the lady immediately, and then the lady who, um, said it happened, the lady who <clears throat> the friend said it happened to, yeah, took it back. Oh. Yeah, she said, I'm shutting down the cancellation of Hubble Johnson. Stop calling him a rapist. He didn't do anything to me that I didn't consent to to begin with. Lots has been misunderstood and this could end his career. Tests are being done to clear things up. Hmm. So, we're not, I don't. Still not exactly sure what happened to <laughs> Was the friend exaggerating? Was were things Did misconstrued? <laughs> yeah. Did she give Hobo Johnson herpes? Yeah, that's what I'm I'm confused. I mean his name is Hobo Johnson. Did her friend talk a little out of pocket? Maybe. I didn't know. This is uh some updates we're getting. I was kind of hyped just to shut Hobo Johnson up. Listen, his music's bad, but... Yeah. I mean, if he if it didn't actually happen, then, you know, whatever, but, you know, still. Or she being paid by Hobo Johnson to say it never happened. <laughs> I want to get canceled and then uncanceled in the same time in no, the span of a day. He's just for the publicity, <laughs> for the clout. Nah, nah, he's, like, putting the shut, putting the hush on it. What? On the um, controversy. He's pulling a Trump. I don't think he's rich enough to pay but Yeah, to he's get not. To get he's canceled and not. try to pay people. To... Uh, man, all it took was a couple scones, though. Oh, my God. Why is... Okay, that's weird. What? Uh, I was trying to read a story about it, but literally will not go past this one part. Oh, that's weird. It just says musician Hubble Johnson, real name Frank Lopez. Well, no, Lopez. Lo Lopes. Lopes? L A L O P E S. Uh, wait, spell it again? L O L O P E S. L O P E S? Yeah. S? Yes. Yeah. Lopes. Could be Lopez, I don't know. Yeah. No, no, it wouldn't be Lope no, it'd it's be not Lopez. Lopez. Be Lopez. What's it on? Huh? What's the uh, article on? Uh just look up Hubble Johnson. It's on your that's that one. Giving a woman an STI. Frank Lopes Jr. is accused of giving a woman herpes. But now she says it was a miscommunication on Wednesday. Lopes 
uh, became a trending topic on Twitter after a woman who claimed to be a friend of the accuser allegedly, er, of the alleged. accuser, bruh, I'm trying, of the accuser, accuser alleged that he removed a condom during sex when the two met at a meet and greet and subsequently gave the friend herpes. In another tweet, she said the friend attempted to go to the authorities years ago when it happened, but nothing came of it. <clears throat> the original tweet has now been deleted, as as has the account, but the accusation started er, conversations about sexual assault, cancel culture, and the context of Johnson's lyrics. On Wednesday evening, the accuser, under the Twitter handle, at Venus Rose Baby, attempted to clarify things in a series of tweets stating that Hobo Johnson is not a rapist and that sex was consensual. She apologized and added that she miscommunicated to a friend because I'm sick and scared and wasn't trying to hurt anyone. Um, uh, <clears throat> do you want me to read the tweets? Or like... I'll read them. Can I read them? Yeah, can you see them? Do you want me to zoom? Yeah. What you need to know, Hobo Johnson is not a rapist. Everything was consensual. There was lots of miscommunication. A different sexual partner probably lied to me about their tests. I didn't want any of this to be public. I apologize for any confusion. I never want any of this to be public. I never want any private information to spread. After I found out I had contracted HSV, he was the last person I wanted to put blame on. Hold up. Yeah. HV was the only person out of the people I had HJ. slept with. Yes, I meant. Sorry. H Day was the only person out of the people I had slept with that he was the only one I never got to ask, and everyone else said their test was negative. Someone was most, someone has most likely lied to me. I didn't expect any personal information to be posted about either one of us, nor did I want to be. I thought it was going to be something simple and not outing my relations on my STI. I or, never, or my STI. Yeah, I never climbed, claimed. Uh, I never lied about him sexually assaulting me. I never said he raped me. I never claimed he did anything without my consent. It was misinformation. I formally apologize to anyone who thinks this this was malicious. I'm sorry I've been... I can not help that one. Sorry I've been selfish. I wasn't trying to lie about anything. I don't want to be picked apart. I'm not trying to hurt anyone. I'm trying to close all of this down. I miscommunicated to a friend because I'm sick and scared. I want support and I want to heal. She was trying to help me. I was the only one told to begin with. If anyone wants to blame here, it's me. I'm terribly sorry for everything. I just wanted some kind of justice. She was... Uh, I was the one who told her to begin with. That's what I said. No, you said I was the one told her to begin with? Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> you didn't say who. I said that I was, the I, uh, I was the one who told her to begin with. No, you didn't. Yeah, that's what I said. Lopez respond Lopes whatever responded on Instagram stating I struggled with how to address these untrue allegations about me without causing harm to a or any victim of sexual assault. I think it's incredibly important that we listen to and believe victims. He also asked people to stop harassing a woman. Tearing someone apart on the internet, especially after they apologize, isn't right. Excuse me. Um all this said, removing a condom during uh, consensual sex is sexual assault, and some states, including California, have moved to legally classify it as such. Which it is. Yeah. If it's, like, unconsensual. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what happened here. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. That is, uh, that is all. Stay safe. Uh, stay away from Hobo Johnson just because his music sucks. Yeah, stay away from white women. <laughs> stay away from white women that are into Hobo Johnson too. Yes. They all have herpes now. Yes. If you've ever listened to Kobo Johnson, you're a white woman. <laughs> you have herpes now. <laughs> to Kobo Johnson? Huh? You said Kobo Johnson. I said Hobo Johnson. All right. You mishear everything. <laughs> I'm going to play that one back. Your ears are bad, so don't start with me. All right, we're out. Put your ear put your, like, your horn, ear horn in. <laughs> Bye-bye.